What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So as most of you guys know, or if you don't know, uh, I just took a road trip to Texas uh, in our 4Runner, and we put some miles on it, got some good uh, use out of it, but it's pretty dirty, so in today's video, I'm gonna be cleaning it up and showing you my uh, techniques that I use, and the products that I use, and, and how to use them, and why I use them. So uh, let's jump into today's video and we'll get started. Alright, so the first thing I like to do before I start cleaning the vehicle itself is wash the undercarriage off. And I got a great tool for that, uh, which I'm about to show you. I got the wife out here today with me helping me clean her 4Runner. As you most of you know, we just got back from Texas, so it's pretty dirty, definitely needs to be cleaned up. So let's go ahead and check out that undercarriage cleaner. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start the pressure washer up. All right, so we got the pressure washer going, and as you can see, Alexis is cleaning the undercarriage right now. As you see, it's a wand that connects to the pressure washer, and it squirts water straight up, cleaning the undercarriage of the vehicle. This thing works wonders, let me tell you. She's just going to go around the vehicle doing each side and then the front and back making sure we get all that Texas road grime off the underneath. So as you can see we are finishing up doing the undercarriage now. Like I said that's always the very first thing I like to do when cleaning a vehicle to start with the undercarriage because believe it or not it gets very dirty. Alright, so the next step is going to be getting the foam gun ready. Again, I have a foam gun that I use. I did have a foam cannon, but once I got the pressure washer, I got the foam gun. Works a lot better. Gives you more suds. Um, for the foam gun, I use Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam. It uh, foams up really good, and it smells really good. I do put, this is Turtle Wax Ice Washing Wax. I put this in the bucket with um, my wash mitt and whatnot. Uh, I go ahead and foam the vehicle up and then wash it up using that. So we'll go ahead and show you that. Alright, so as you can see, she's going ahead and pressure washing the vehicle, getting the majority of the heavy stuff off, and then we'll go ahead and foam it up. So while she's doing that, I'll show you about this. So I like to put just enough to cover the bottom of the honeydew. That's all you really need, it goes a long ways. Then you'll fill the rest up with water. And then for this, I take it and I just pour some in there. You don't need much, that was honestly probably too much, but it's all right, it won't hurt anything. Put the lid back on that and then I'll fill that up with water. Number one thing you want to do is make sure you have a clean wash mitt. Uh, this is a Chemical Guys wash mitt. I like to wash in the washing machine after each use so that you know I make sure everything gets out of it and is clean before I go use it on another vehicle and put swirls or scratches or what have you in the paint. So I'm going to go ahead and get the foam gun filled up with water and the bucket filled up with water and we'll be set. All right, so we got the foam gun filled up now. As you can see, it's a little bit darker at the bottom. Uh, that's because the majority of the soap is at the bottom. So uh, a lot of people forget to do this, but make sure you shake it up. And that allows the soap to get evenly distributed on the water. And now as you can see, it's fully mixed and ready to go. Hi right, guys, so we're ready to go ahead and foam the 4Runner, so I'm going to go ahead and foam it up and then the wife's going to come behind me and scrub it, and then we'll go from there. So, let's check it out.
right so as you can see we got plenty of foam on it and now she's going ahead and scrubbing everything up get it nice and squeaky clean um we did have a lot of bugs on the front so i'm going to go ahead and work on that and i'll show you how i do that again it's good practice to keep a bucket uh you know with soap and water in it with all your tools to clean your vehicle with right here i got it's a bug sponge it's really good for scrubbing bugs and whatnot off you know your bumper your windshield your mirrors wherever you got bugs this is really good for it so you're just gonna take the bug sponge and just go you know i had a lot of bugs right here on the chrome just go and kind of go over you don't even really have to put too much pressure on it but it as you can see it takes the bugs right off this works excellent all right, so we washed the one side. It's good to do one side at a time because if you get to the other side, the soap is going to dry on there and you don't want that. So as you can see, you are going to go ahead and wash off the side that you just washed. Go ahead and spray the soap off of it. And I went ahead and did the whole front end for the bug, so that should be good once she sprays it off. All right, so we got one side done. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. And she's gonna work on all the wheels, clean the wheels up, cause you know, they're covered in brake dust. But as you can see, I went ahead and I foamed this side up. It's kinda already started running off, but I'm gonna go ahead and scrub it down real quick. All right, so as you can see, we are done washing the vehicle off. It's still a little wet. Um, what I like to do, I use, here I'll show you right now. Let me spin the bottle around. This is Chemical Guys Instawax. It's uh, essentially a liquid carnauba wax. So high gloss wax and sealant in one liquid carnauba. And then I have this little applicator pad, also chemical guys. And essentially what you do, is you squirt a little bit on the paint. A little goes a long ways, but you squirt it on and then lightly apply it with the pad and then wait five minutes and then come back with some microfibers and it wipes right off and leaves a nice glossy shine. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how you do it. Again, give it a little shake and uh, make sure it's turned on. Lightly mist a little, and you take your applicator pad and you just kind of work it around. Again, a little goes a long ways, and you know you're doing it right when it starts hazing up. That's what you want to see. Again, just work it around the paint. I try not to get it on the plastics. I try to keep it strictly on the paint, but that's just me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this on the whole vehicle and we'll check back in with you. All right, so as you can see, I'll do a quick walk around. I have coated the entire vehicle in the liquid carnauba wax. So that is sitting on working my way back around we have started taking it off and as you can see the glossy shine that it leaves is outstanding you can see the flakes in the paint absolutely beautiful so we're gonna go ahead and wipe the rest of the vehicle down and we'll check back in with you all right so as you can see the vehicle itself is done um, the wheels have been wiped down. She's finishing up this side right now. As you see, nice and clean. Always use a microfiber. I use microfiber on everything. So the last thing that is left for the exterior is to put some tire shine on these tires. For tire shine, for these, I like to use this black magic tire wet and this is the gel i have the spray as well but the gel seems to last a little bit longer especially on these tires i don't know the gel just it stays on longer it looks better i think and also it doesn't really fling you know some of the liquids they fling right there on your quarter panel which just makes an ugly mess 
So for an applicator pad, what I use is just, I think this is like a grout sponge. It's just a really big sponge. And I just put like a little bit of tire wet uh, gel on it and just rub it around. And the cool thing about this is it picks up all the excess. So it leaves a nice, you know, smooth, clean shine to it without being too excessive to where it's gonna sling. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you how I do this. So for this, again, I just take a little bit of gel on here, as you can see, and just work it around the tire. Really could use a little bit more. Just kinda go along the inside. And as you go along the wheel, kind of got to pinch a little so you don't get it up on your wheel. So just take it carefully along there so you don't get the gel on the wheel. A little bit more. To the outside. Go ahead and give it one more quick last wipe down. And as you can see, that gives it a nice even shine all the way around. And there's no excessive uh, gel to where it's gonna sling. So that's how I apply that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the tires and we'll check back in. All right, we just finished putting the tire shine on all four tires. So here is your final product. A nice clean forerunner. That's how a forerunner likes to be, nice and clean. <laughs> Do a quick walk around. Again, you know that carnuba wax, the liquid carnuba, gives it a real nice shine. So that's how I clean the exterior of my vehicles. Uh, today I just went ahead and demonstrated it on the 4Runner. Again, because as you guys know, I just drove it to Texas and back from Texas. So, needless to say, it was pretty dirty. But, not anymore. Now when it comes to the interior, uh, obviously vacuuming is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, Lexus is working on the vacuuming. Uh, I'm going to be working on the dash, you know, the plastics, and then doing the windows. But for the interior, I use a product put out by Meguiar's. It's called Quick Interior Detailer Cleaner. You know, I, I kind of swear by this stuff. It works really good. Pretty much you just spray it on the dash, take a microfiber, like everything else, and just wipe it down. It's got a nice clean scent to it, and it, you know, gives it just enough shine, but it doesn't look oily like an Armor All product. So I'll go ahead and show you this product. So for this product, again, I'm just going to give it a couple squirts, and that's all it needs is just two, three squirts. Take a towel, and then just wipe it down. Obviously on the wood grain, you want to go real lightly and gentle, careful not to scratch it. Obviously, as you see, there's a couple spots, so just give it just a little bit more. Wipe it down. And as you can see, it leaves it, you know, just enough shine to it, but it gets all the dust and any dirt or whatnot off it. 
and it does a real good job of cleaning everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the rest of the vehicle in this. All right guys, we are done on the interior. As you can see, it's vacuumed out now. Everything's wiped down, nice and clean. It's as good as new. So again, I like to use the Meguiar's quick interior detailer. It works great. Um, I use the Armor All for the Armor All brand auto glass cleaner for the windows. Um, I don't use Armor All directly on my leather. I just don't like how oily it gets. But as you can see, everything's good and cleaned up now. So again, here's a quick overview of all the products that I used in today's video. As you can see from left to right, you got your quick interior detailer your liquid carnauba wax your tire wet gel in the back you got your wash and wax that i use in the bucket with my um wash mitts you got your chemical guys honeydew uh soap for the foam gun right there and then the armor all auto glass cleaner and always you want a bucket full of clean rags and then a bucket for your dirty rags so that you can keep them separated as always guys, thanks for watching the video. If you're new to the channel, if you have not already done so, make sure you head over and click the subscribe button. Drop a big thumbs up on this video and leave a comment down below. Um, make sure you head over to the enthusiast link that I got down below in the description. Get you some sweet enthusiast gear. Um, as always, see you next time guys. Enjoy your weekend.